Do you have AirPods? Do you have a Windows 11 PC? Do they sound terrible? Let's look at it today and see if we can fix that for you. Y'all hang with me. Alright, so we're going to start off from scratch here. Got my AirPods and what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and pair them. So I'm going to switch down to my screen recording. Alright, so I'm capturing my screen. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the start menu. I'm going to go up to the settings app. And I'm going to go to Bluetooth and devices. And as you can see, I do not have my AirPods hooked up here. We're going to go to this little blue, little blue box. Hit add device. And I'm going to hit Bluetooth. And I'm going to hold this button on the back until it starts blinking. Yeah, it's still blinking. And hopefully it'll show up on my screen here. There we go. We got headphone audio. We'll click connect and it says Scott's AirPods connected voice and music. Now this is what we're going to do now. The connected voice is what's screwing us up here. So we're going to click done. And now we have them here. So now we're going to go back to system and sound. Now if you can see this, now let me, let me switch. Let me get rid of me here. Alright, let me... Okay, I got rid of me so you can see the whole screen. I did this before and I was covering up this bottom part. As you can see on the volume, it's at 100% for the AirPods. Now that would blow your eardrums out in normal situations unless you were really tough. And if I go to input, if I click on... If I click this little button here, it throws the volume to 100% which would blow everybody away in normal situation. That's a problem. I think Windows 11 has a problem with how it transmits the data back and forth from the adapter to the, to, to the uh, AirPods, or there's a power problem, one of the two. Because if you turn this thing down to about 50%, you can't hear anything. So, and what this comes from, a commenter on one of my videos yesterday said, um, hey, when I'm into Discord, when I have my AirPods, Windows 11, sounds like crap. Can't figure it out what's going on. So I started doing some reading. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to quit using the AirPods as a microphone. So what we're going to do, we're going to click on the AirPods down here on the input. And what you see, you have one channel, 16-bit, 8 kilohertz telephone quality. Well, that is just awful, and there's no way to change it. That's all they give you. So what we're going to do, we're going to go up here to the audio tab where it says Don't Allow, and we're going to click Don't Allow. We're not going to use the AirPods microphone. So now when we go back, we're at 56 on the volume. And we've met, moved down to my ZV-10 and the Rode Video Micro from a microphone. Hopefully that sounds better. So now when we listen to music or text or whatever through our AirPods headphones, it's going to sound so much better. All right, a couple of other things you can do. You can click on your AirPods here. And you see we have two channels, 16-bit, 48 kilohertz, DVD quality. Down under audio enhancements, you had device default effects or off. I leave that on. Now under spatial audio, I'll turn that on. That seems like to me, now I'm not an audio file or anything, but it seems like it boosts the audio and, and you can hear a little bit more. I like the way that sounds. 56. We're using a different microphone. Should be good. One thing you want to go in and check after you do this, well, you want to play some music or a video or something so you can listen to it, but we want to right click on the start menu and go to device manager. And there are a hundred ways to do it. That's just the way I do it. And we're going to go to Bluetooth 
And there are no red exclamations, no yellow problems, no nothing here. This is all good stuff. My Bluetooth device, my radio, my keyboard, my numerator, my AirPods. Everything showed up just like they're supposed to. And if I go to my sound devices, there are my AirPods. Now the hands-free down here, that's the part of the microphone that we turned off, but it's still in Device Manager. So that is how I have figured out how to make this work. And one of the things you can do if you're on a budget and you're, you're gaming or uh, having a podcast or whatever, you can get something like this. This is a newer NW7000. It's a USB microphone. See the USB connector on a little stand. This, this whole thing's 20, 20 bucks or whatever. Or you can get a little lavalier microphone like I've done a video on. And I'll put cards up here for that. And the audio coming out of these are really good. I mean, I know this is a Rode Video Micro. It's a little higher end. I think it sounds really good. So what I want to do, I want to add my uh, USB microphone to this. I should have already done this and I didn't do it. There it is right there. It's a WOER is what it shows up as. So you're listening to the Rode Video Micro going straight into my camera with a 3.5 millimeter cable. And what I want to do, I want to turn it off and go straight to the war now. If when you see it, you'll see that I have the boosted up because in OBS it doesn't put out enough, but so we're going to look at that now. As you can see, I have it boosted to 8 dB in the software that I'm on. Hopefully it sounds good. Now you have to be close to the microphone. So if you have it on an arm or a stand, you can have it really close to your mouth. And hopefully it sounds good. I, it normally does. This is what I use for my work setup behind me back here. Right back there. I use it with Microsoft Teams all the time. And uh, it, it does a really good job and you don't have to break the bank with it. One of the other things you can do, you can get one of these lavalier mics. This is a Boya M1. Uh, I think it's $15. Links for everything in the description. But it works good. Uh, I've used it on several videos. Can't uh, complain at all. As long as you get it up close to you, as long as the battery is good and the little receiver has got about a 20-foot cable, that's another option for you. Um, we're going to see how this sounds and then we will head back to the Rode Video Micro. So that is the way I figured out how to fix this problem. Now it's, it's pretty much a band-aid. Um, it would be great if we had two channel 48 kilohertz um, audio through the microphone and you probably can there's there are usb adapters for your bluetooth that are high fidelity or high power but they're 80 90 hundred dollars and i just don't see having to do that is worth it i mean we can just plug a usb in or a, a 3.5 microphone and do just as well and that'd be nice to be able to walk around and, and do whatever uh, i would like to have a windows 11 laptop and try it and and see how it does see if a laptop adapter does any better than this but that is what i found if you found a way to make this work in windows 11 leave it down in the comments i would like to know because i've done a lot of reading on it and everybody's come to the same conclusion by a microphone. So I hope y'all enjoy this video. I hope you get something out of it. It's when people learn something or I can teach them how to do something. I love doing that. Um, I don't claim to be a know-it-all. I have problems just like the rest of you guys. And I troubleshoot and try to figure out. I enjoy doing that. I do it for my job. And uh, it's just fun for me to do. 
But I hope you like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. Be notified. If you like this comment, let content, let me know. Uh, if you have a video you'd like for me to do, I'll try to do it. As long as it don't break the bank. But that's about it. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you're having a good week. And like I always say, until the next video, thanks for watching.